We already met. Right. Okay. So, from the get-go, I had a song choice. Literally. I wanted to do Glass of Patron by FK Twigs. She has a video to it, which is a bit weird, so I will not be showing you today. But I thought that the song was way too different for me to pos to like have an actual video to it. I didn't know what how I could possibly represent the themes of the song. So I just left that song and I went with Honeymoon, <coughs> which was my backup song. It's a brand new song from Lana Del Rey. It doesn't have a video. It's just one of her track songs from her brand new album. And I think I'll be able to represent that song much better because originally I wanted to bring a vintage vibe to it, which is what Lana Del Rey does anyway. So I'm gonna show you this a little bit of the song. So that was the first verse, as you can see, it's quite melodic, it's quite slow, and which I think will fit really well with my vintage vibe that I'm trying to bring in. But you... Okay, let's go in. Then, my inspirations. Okay, my way... Okay. <coughs> I really wanted my music video to like feel personal to the audience. Therefore, my inspiration my, from the beginning, I want to include like some home videos. Not sure if they'll be my own, if I'll make some up, not sure. But, and lyrically, the song delivers like, it's about a tale of a lover who has a severe violent history, which I think will work really well with the home footage and the theme, as that could possibly show happier times, like from childhood, and juxtapose it with a better quality video of like an angel walking through the woods like she's lost. Again. My themes and ideas are very reminiscent of Lana Del Rey's previous works and songs such as video games and summertime sadness. But my music video inspiration actually comes from Soko's We Might Be Dead By Tomorrow. There's a music video shows Oh, wait, I don't know what that means. It has a juxtaposition between happy home videos and morbid ideas of fallen angels and death with the meeting at the end with the same image of a couple holding hands being laid over an image of a human skull, given the idea that everything is fragile and there's a very thin line between life and death. I'll show you a bit of the video. So this is kind of how, how I want to begin my video, like with home videos and just to make it feel more personal. Okay, I shall end it there. Okay, who is my audience? My audience really is gen Generation Y, as said before. It's 15 to 25 year olds, but because Lana Del Rey is a more niche market, I'm targeting towards the indie audience, even though she's quite popular right now. I'm targeting towards them, people who care about the environment, people who don't necessarily fall follow fashion trends, <coughs> but are still quite up to date with fashion and have an individual style. Okay. This is basically what they like doing. They like Starbucks, they like social media, mostly Tumblr. Uh, they like drinking really expensive water for some strange reason. And they like traveling, just traveling. It's a major thing in their lifestyle. Okay, this is my Pinterest. Um, I don't know what that is. Okay, so as you can tell, it's all very vintage looking. There's some pictures of Lana Del Rey, old Hollywood style, opulence basically, just opulence. Okay, the Pinterest board depi depicts my inspiration for the themes and settings for my music video. I'm inspired by vintage looking things, especially from the golden age of Hollywood. 
and also the word opulence. I want my music video to have an essence of glamour and richness, but not only purely from material things. From the beginning of the video, I want to include some old home videos to link back to another era of time, which will be mixed with random videos of places like London, architecture, landscapes, and signs. Okay. This is, I emailed uh, Universal Music because Lana Del Rey signed to Polydor, but Polydor is just a small, a small studio which belongs to Universal Music, and they don't actually have an email, so I thought I'd email the conglomerate. Okay, the synopsis of the video. My idea is to start the video with the home footage, as I've said before. The music video will be filmed in color, but most of the scenes will be filtered to make it look like a vintage film. It will also feature flash transactions, as you can see in the pictures, that's what they look like, to create a more Western vintage looking video. The lyrics speak of, violent, of a violent relationship, therefore I want to juxtapose the home videos, which signify happy memories, with HD quality scenes of a girl, the singer, walking through the woods. I've said that before as well. During the chorus, I'd like to light up my model's face from different angles to allow her features to show differently. The video will basically be a back and forth between real life and home videos, which are like memories. This is the video timeline. It's too long to explain, but basically, it's just home videos and then the, the real life scenario. And that's it. Thank you.